21 seasons in the National Hockey League. He was known as the Finnish Flash, and he's one of the best to ever lace them up. And we're on on uh, Angels Radio AM 830, right in the heart of Anaheim Ducks country every single day. So we're thrilled to have one of the all-time great Ducks, one of the all-time great players, not just in the NHL, but internationally. His new book, My Life, is available where all books are sold. Good to see you, Timu Solani. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. Thanks well, for having well, me. Well, I know you're doing great. Uh, just to update our radio audience that missed what we just witnessed on our television side, we played the Eisen game on the Callaway Corner where the maximum number of putts you can make is, is five for the maximum points of 14. You drained them all, sir. You must have lucky. <laughs> oh, gosh. You put all the biscuits in the basket over there. What is your, what's your handicap? It's like a, about three. Now, when you say it's about three... <laughs> Uh, it's, are you, it all depends who I play against. You know, I was about to say. Yeah. Are you trying to be, you know, cagey about it because you don't want to let everyone know how how many how much candy you can give or yeah, get? Yeah, I don't want to be the guy who has a, a one handicap and shoots seventy eight. Okay. I want to be three who shoots uh, even par. <laughs> okay. And you look like you've got a nice tan going, so it looks like you've got the golf game uh, with regularity, right? You know, now. I play tennis or golf uh, pretty much every day. No kidding. Yeah. What's your tennis game look like? My tennis game is I, I like tennis even more now than golf. You know, it's uh, love tennis and it's a good workout, and I don't really work out any 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 more. So tennis is. My thing right now. Do I tell him about my tennis? Do I tell him a little bit I right mean, now, Chris? I, I mean, think, do we make uh, yeah, why I mean, not? <laughs> no, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm talking to one of the best athletes internationally that's maybe, ever sat in a chair Maybe here. keep it brief. Okay, I'll keep it brief. I've been taking up tennis myself lately. I'm 50. How old are you? I'm going to be 50 next year. You're going to be 50 next year. So we're the same age. Do we look the same age, Chris, to you? Um... Okay, stop. No, um, stop. I, mean, I shouldn't ask questions uh, I don't want to give the answer here. to. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of plantar fasciitis on my on my uh, on my left foot because of tennis. Do you feel that a little bit? You too know sometimes? what? Tennis is hard hard sport for your body, but your feet you are know, good. You're good. You're going good, not bad. Okay, and um, all right. So that's where the similarities are are not even. Weird. It's not kind of a Venn diagram here. Um, and in terms, what's your speed on your serve? How fast? Oh, can you? my serve is my weakest po uh, point in my game. Uh huh. It's probably like uh, maybe 110. <laughs> Not very good. That's your Not weakest good. part of your game? Yeah. And you clock is. at 110? Yeah. yeah, it is. Now we're talking miles per hour, right? Not yes. kilometers. Yeah, I hope so. Okay, so you want to make sure. <laughs> yeah. That's, ser that's serious, team. That's some serious serve that you got right no, there. No, it's not. I think the guys who I play against, I'm, I'm the worst uh, server. But Well, come on now. Who do you play? Do you get, are you playing against real, like, professional tennis players? Well, I play, I play in a couple, like, uh, international tennis federation over 45 league. Uh, okay. And tournaments in Europe in the summertime. So I try to take that another level, but. I don't think my body can take the whole uh, practice and training, uh, so oh, I just play for fun. Tell me about it. I mean, I know what you're talking about. That's why I don't, you know, I'm not touring in Europe on summertime either because, you know, my left foot, I got plantar fasciitis. Yeah, because my left them. knee is sore too, but, you know. <laughs> yes, you now, to, yeah. that's all I wanted to hear is that yeah. you got to get a little bit of an ache and pain. <laughs> Timu Solani here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. Again, my life. Uh, this book was originally put out in your native Finland, correct? Yeah, 2014. It came okay, out. and now why'd you decide to... Put it in English and put it well, on you know, out there. A lot of people were asking about that, and little by little, I, I got the idea that maybe it would be nice. That it's gonna last forever, and it's something. But uh, you know, I think the people are interested to to, to uh, read my journey, and it was just 21 years in NHL. But it's not only about hockey; it's about life and up up and downs. And uh, I'm pretty excited about it. Okay, so um, when's the first time you laced up? When do you remember that? First time you ever put on a pair of skates? Uh, I think I was like five years old. Five years old. Yeah, okay. in Finland, the hockey is the biggest thing, and and uh, all the little kids and and girls too play hockey these days at least some point. Okay, and so when did you realize that you had a special skill for it? Well, I was always fast and a lot of passion for any sports, pretty much. But I think uh, not until I was 17, I realized I'm better than other guys. Mm -hmm. And uh, year year later, I got drafted in NHL, and then it has been. Uh, just climbing a higher. You know? Well, I mean, what, you still have the record for most goals and points by a rookie. 76 goals your first season. I mean, at some point, were you, were you even surprising yourself at oh, that yeah. point? I didn't realize what I did until like three years after, you know. Uh, but, you know, I was very lucky. When I went there, the table was set up for me. I got right away a chance to play with the best players and, and first power play and... and 
you know, the confidence what I had. It was almost like snowball going down the hill. I just got more and more and I got hungrier and hungrier. And it was amazing, uh, amazing journey that first year, especially. Well, did you think, well, this, this NHL thing's easy? Did you think that at that point? In time? Not really, but I was shocked that I was able to do so many goals and play well. And 76. That's yeah, an absurd number. So after that, by numbers, my, my career went downhill. <laughs> so. Only Gretzky, Lemieux, and Brett Hull have scored more. Yeah. In terms know, of that, that's amazing. Um, best player ever played with would be who? Team Mussolini. For myself, maybe uh, Paul Korea, uh, but I was lucky that I played all my career with the great players, and I got a chance to play with Kretzky in the same line in the All Star game. And what was he, that like? Uh, you know, I was honored. You know, I always he had a, my, I had a, his uh, picture in my wall when I was a young guy, and I always remember '91 Canada Cup. I played Team Finland against Canada first uh, game in Old Maple Leaf Garden, and and in the face of he's right beside me, and I. That was nerve wracking, you know. I didn't know how to act, you know. So, right. But it was, you know, a great feeling to realize that I'm playing the same league than my hero, you know. I mean, I mean that you're you're on the same line as Wayne I know, Gretzky. It was dream come true for sure. And he's just one of the nicest guys. He's just like a great human being. Unbelievable on the guy. What he has done, not on, not only on the ice but off the ice, you know, it's it's untouched, you know. Like uh, we are very lucky that we have had a guy like him for hockey. So who was the nastiest guy? That you ever oh by was on far Chris Pronger, he was uh, he was a tough Pronger. Uh, he was a beast that guy and uh, I always hated to play against. You didn't him. even stutter. You just you you pulled Pronger right out right there, huh? Yeah, but you know he's six six and big boy and but you know what? Two thousand six, uh, you know we became the teammates and year after we won the Stanley Cup together and great teammate and good guy and it was. Fun to be his friend, not uh, yeah, to play against to be him, his, so. <laughs> Right, to be on. So, uh, Team Mussolini here on the Rich Eisen Show. Look, people who are hardcore, supposedly, you know, like, let's just say, um, uh, NHL fans, the original six, right? Like the old school places. Think of Southern California as a, a lightweight hockey area because we all have beaches and it's 80 degrees outside you have performed here in southern california more than most it's an intense hockey community that's down here in southern california i would love for you to put a little bit of um uh, more meat on those bones what do you think oh absolutely i think you know when kretzky came came in la i think he started that boom about hockey i think he's the reason why we got the teams in anaheim and, and san jose and um a little by little, you know, hockey has really grown here a lot, you know, and uh, the Ducks and Kings and and, uh, and Sharks, that they're doing great uh, job with the youth program. And, uh, you know, I think hockey really became a big, big sport here, you know, and obviously Kings won two uh, Stanley Cups and Ducks won. So I think those are so much help for hockey here. And, uh, you know, I love when, when I, my favorite thing in, after the practice when I, Good practice, and you go you go out, and it's 80 degrees, and right. you see the palm trees, and it's just awesome. You know? <laughs> <laughs> when I first moved out here, Team Mussolini here on the Rich Eisen Show, I was I lived on the East Coast my whole life, and I was on ESPN for a long time, and was up there in Bristol, Connecticut, and then I moved out here for the NFL Network, and we worked like crazy, um, and I was inside all the time, and inside you know chilly sets, and I would walk outside, and I'm like, man can't believe I'm missing this day. And then it dawned on me the next day, the next day, and the next day is just like that. And it's really, it's just, a, I, I do love living around out here. Yeah, you know, we get so spoiled here. And, and the sun and the light, you know, right. that's give you energy. And every, every morning when you wake up and you look outside, yeah. and you, you just make, it makes you happy. So uh, a couple more minutes here with Timu Solani on the Rich Eisen Show. Who would you, pe who would you pay money to see play hockey? today in today's NHL you know what I think that today's NHL is so special because every team has unbelievable hockey players so uh but the, you know what like guys like Connor McDavid you know like I love watch uh, him playing why you know, he's so fast and quick and and every time when he's on the ice something great happens you know and but like I said every team has those players right now Matt Barsal New York Islanders I love how he plays of course we have all the guys Sidney Crosby and those guys so I think the hockey is doing really, really good right now, and uh, uh, it's fun to watch, you know. It kind of freaks me out to hear you refer to Sidney Crosby as one of the older guys. Well, he's I mean, getting there. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. It, it, it really is amazing. What was it like being around Lemieux whenever you were around him or Yager? Walk me through those guys. You know what? The, the great thing about hockey, you know, the, 
I haven't met bad guy in hockey, and you know they're all great guys and very humble guys. And like when he talk about Mario, he never make any any big number of himself, and he always talk about highly about everybody. So those guys are really true gentlemen, you know, and uh, they're good role models. And that's why I I think people love hockey players because they are very down to earth guys and. They don't have egos, you know. It's just, and it, it's easy to go talk to the hockey players. I think. Well, I mean, I also remember when you stepped away uh, from from hockey, and everybody got together on the ice, started banging the sticks for you. Yeah. I, I, I it was a really moving moment, and I'm wondering what it was like for you when you realized, okay, 21 seasons, I've been there, I've done that, I've done so much, and then you had your own peers bang the sticks on the ice for you. What was that like for you? Know, it was, you know, a big honor. You know, obviously, we just lost game seven against Kings. Right. Which is our, our really, uh, really rivalry uh, team. And uh, and all the, the Kings players stayed on the ice and, and they were clapping their sticks. And, you know, it's just like something that we are so united as a hockey players. Even, you know, there's a lot of battles between two teams. But um, the appreciation and the honor, what uh, we feel to each other, you know, it's a... Uh, Something that you don't see that very, very often. So it was a special moment, and I try to play the game fair, and and you know I don't really have enemy enemies. And uh, what happened on the ice, uh, you know, happened on the ice, and then off the ice, you know, you want to be a good guy and right. respectful for, for everybody. Did you ever not want to shake somebody's hand after? A... No, absolutely. Seriously, not. you never, no. no, never once. No, even those tough guys. When they drop the gloves and they they try, try to beat each other, you know, after the games they go have a beer. That's. That's awesome, I think. Even Claude Lemieux, you want to shake his hand? Absolutely. He was good to me. You know? <laughs> <laughs> He's got to check on that. It's one of the all-time favorite lines. Yeah. Was that Draper who told us it said that? Or it's, uh, yeah, I think those two guys are little. Yeah, right? Yeah, you want to shake, it, shake his freaking hand? Yeah. Um, so before I let you go, you said this book's more than about hockey. It's about life. What did you mean by that? Well, you know, I think the, everybody's life, there's up and downs. And I, I talk about my... You know, my, my families and my parents and divorce and, and um, my older brother's uh, drug problems and and pretty much everything. I try to be very honest about what has happened. Clearly, and, uh, yeah. And, uh, you know, it's uh, I really believe that when you come uh, out with the book, you know, it's it's a good to tell everything, you know. And uh, and it's about journey, that what has happened and, and how I felt about different things. So check it all out. Timu Solani, My Life, uh, where all books are sold. Thrilled to have you here on the show. I mean, just in terms of 21 seasons, 10-time All-Star, Rookie of the Year, you got the Calder Trophy, Maurice Rocket Richard Trophy for the leading scorer one year, most points, as I mentioned, by a rookie and goals by a rookie, oldest player to win a medal in Olympic hockey at 43 years old. So I, I ask this with the utmost of humility, where does having a perfect score in the Eisen game that you had <laughs> during our television only segment all that's 14 points? That's going to go top of the that's list. About to say, where does that rank, Timu? <laughs> they ranked right in the top because I think the golf is the hardest sport in earth. And I really believe that mm -hmm. I was a great athlete until, until I started playing golf. So I have to put that number one. Okay, great. I appreciate you saying that. You're not just saying that because you're sitting next Absolutely to me on this show. Not. Okay, very good. I really appreciate that. There is no I in Timu or Solani. <laughs> There's a lot of other vowels. Uh, thank you for coming on this show, Timu. Thanks for having you me. You bet. Timu Solani right here. Check him out on Twitter and also uh, on Instagram at uh, Solani Timu. But the the A, the A is an eight. on its, are, you, are you out there posting yourself? You're Absolutely. Putting, okay, very good. Everything. By the way, uh, I, I, it looks, Chris, and again, just tell me, just for all the radio audience, looks like you could give me a few shifts right now. Like right now. You can give me a, a how many shifts can you give me right now? Zero. Zero. Oh, come on. <laughs> you couldn't give me like in the NHL, like if we threw you out there one. Oh night. no, of course. You know, I, I, How many I, shifts can I, you I give even me? talk about that. You give me three months and I can play in the NHL. No Are problem. you serious? Oh yeah, no problem. Come on. No problem. Oh, come on. Yeah. Like like All right, so breaking I don't news. Want to talk, let me get this I, tweet up. It's, yeah. you, breaking it's, news. Give you three months. Like right now, if we've it's November, what are we? November sixth, right now. Tamu Solani announces comeback. So, <laughs> so let, me, right. let me get this yeah. right. Right. So by it won't happen, but I think at least Feb I think like by February sixth, right after the Super Bowl, Tamu Solani can go out and help me. Like you, like what? Home stretch. Top star of the night, second star of the night type well, stuff. Well, for sure, one of them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know, I, I just to say it too, I could too if it wasn't for my plantar fasciitis. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be out there, too. <laughs> Thanks, Timo. Appreciate Thank it. Good to see you. That's Timo Solani right here on the Jason Show. We're back with more in a moment. 
more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.